course, you always want to be with the Prophet وسلم, but on the nights where the face of the Prophet وسلم, is so illuminated and his guidance is as pristine during the night as it is during the day وسلم, you want to be around him as he's in the midst of that ibadah. And there were certain conversations that would happen at night with the Prophet وسلم, that were very special, where the Prophet وسلم, just like with everything else, was using the atmosphere to convey something to you. First and foremost, what everyone already knows about the Prophet وسلم, in the last 10 nights. كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا دخل العشر أحيا الليل وأيقظ أهله. The Prophet وسلم, when the last 10 nights would come in, he would give life to the entire night. He would wake up his family and he would tighten up his belt وسلم, meaning he took it extremely seriously when it came to those last 10 nights. He did not plan to sleep any of it. And he used to pitch a tent sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he would stay in that same spot worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the night. And then during the day, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would still be in his state of remembrance alayhi salatu wa sallam in that same spot. And Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he pointed to Nafir radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He says, this is the place where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to pitch his tent. And he says, wallahi kana yuhyi al-layl. He would give life to the night sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But it wasn't just prayer. You have these incidents where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is talking to the companions. And this is not specific to the last 10 nights of Ramadan, but thinking about the 10 nights and thinking about nights in general where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is speaking to you. Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came out to us one night and it was Laylatul Badr, a night of the full moon. And he pointed to the moon sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, innakum satarawna rabbakum yawm al-qiyamah kama tarawna hadha. That you will see your Lord on the day of judgment just as you see this full moon and you will have absolutely no difficulty in seeing him. Ubay ibn Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala anhu says on a normal night, when one third of the night would pass, the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam would get up and he would call out to the people and listen to this, SubhanAllah, how he wakes the people up. Ayyuhan nas, uthkurullah. O people, remember Allah. Ja'atir rajifa, tatba'uha radifa. The first blow of the trumpet has come and it will be followed by the second blow. Ja'al mawtu bima fihi. Death has come with all that it comprises. Death has come with all that it comprises. The Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam was reminding the people of how short this life is and to focus on death even in the night SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this was on a normal night. So how would it have been on the last 10 nights SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam? And what would you have done had you heard those words from the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam from your living room? Would you have not gotten up and started to pray and think about those moments that you will ultimately return back to your Lord? And if you went to the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam during the night, if you had the blessing of actually being in his company SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam, then there is no way that you would depart from it without having something happen to you. And Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he describes this incident where he says, Usayd ibn Hudayr and Abad ibn Bish radiallahu ta'ala anhu were with the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam one night. And as they were sitting together in the dark night, when they left him alayhi salatu wasalam, they had these two lights in front of them and those lights were going forth in front of them. SubhanAllah, just like the description on the day of judgment for the believers. These lights were moving in front of them and as they got to a point where they would part from one another, each one of them was accompanied by a single light all the way until they walked back into their house. So if you were with the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam, not only would his blessing have rubbed off on you in the night, not only would you have heard something that would have awoken your heart during the night, the way that the Prophet Sallallahu heart was always awake, but you even had some incidents where people walked away with actual light from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on that night. And if you were blessed to catch Laylatul Qadr with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what was the scene? Ibn Abbas Sallallahu Ta'ala Anhumah describes it when the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam was praying with the Sahaba and they knew that it was Laylatul Qadr, it was a calm, cool night and they saw the face of the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam prostrated in the mud and in the water. And he would lengthen his sujood SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam and when he would rise up, you could see his forehead and his nose covered in mud and the tears coming down from the eyes of the Prophet SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam and that was on the 23rd night of Ramadan that year but of course, Laylatul Qadr is to be sought every single night of these blessed last 10.
صلوا عليه صلوا عليه صلى الله عليه وسلم